Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Mike Eich before the 2014 Tarawera Ultra. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing well, thank you. You are home, <laughs> yes. essentially. How far are we from your uh, your your hometown here in New Zealand? Uh, it's about uh, say three and a half hours over some real crappy roads. Um, but yeah, no, this is this is a great part of the country, you know. So I'm, I'm glad the race is here. Yeah. yeah. Um, when was the last time you've uh, raced here in New Zealand? Well, technically, I came back and ran uh, the New Zealand Road Relays, but mm -hmm. it was only a few weeks after Leadville, and uh, yeah, it didn't go very well just purely because you know my calves were shot. Yeah. You know, I just you, you can't go from running 100 miles to, to 10k and, and feel any good. So uh, you know, the first, the last time I was here um, with a real focus on racing would have been about 2009 when I ran the, the Christchurch Marathon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but here you are, you get to see your family a little bit, you've trained for three plus weeks. Yeah, no, I've been enjoying the, the sunshine. Um, where I live there's a, a large mountain, so uh, I've been spending you know a lot of days you know, mm -hmm. getting around there and up and down there. And Which one is that? Uh, Mount Taranaki. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, it's been great, you know, I've been loving it, I've been eating up a storm. Um, you know, I think I actually uh, probably the only guy that's been, you know, running a good amount and uh, still gaining weight. So uh, it's been great. It's been fantastic. Sufficient chips and what do you? What are your favorite? Uh... Well, I've been sinking a pie and, a, and an LMP uh, um, for lunch just about every day. And uh, yeah, fish and chips for dinner most nights. And by pie, probably some sort of meat pie, right? Yeah, no, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Steak and cheese. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, no, I actually probably in a bind where I have to keep running because uh, otherwise I'll explode. Um, I love the food, really yeah. do. Yeah, <laughs> gives you a reason to run. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, but we talked at uh, back at Sean O'Brien, and you had a great race there. <laughs> yeah, no, it went really bloody well actually. Yeah. Um, I was really worried. Like in our interview, I was a little bit more cautious because uh, I didn't know what the hell was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I'd, I'd only run like a twenty mile long run, and um, you know, I found the course very. You know, easy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was very runnable. Um, you know, I even guarded myself a lot on the downhills. I, you know, I, I felt I was in an easy position to, uh, you know, maybe challenge, uh, you know, Dylan when he, he went off. But, you know, I wanted to kind of make sure that I made the end, mm -hmm. blow up beforehand, and, uh, you know, it, it went really well. So uh, I was happy with that, and I've just, uh, you know, I, I don't even think I, I took any downtime after that. Maybe the travel day home. Um, Straight in yeah, the training. The body was in good shape. So, um, you know, then I really started focusing on um, this race and then stepping from this guy to uh, maybe Lake Sonoma and then into Western States. So you're feeling pretty good. You're sounding like... <laughs> uh, I've been doing a bit of running. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I've... Uh, and you're a high volume guy. Well, I I wanted to test my limits. So I, I, I pushed it along. Um, you know, I got over that 200 mile mark a week for a couple of weeks um i uh i felt quite comfortable to actually doing it um, mostly trail stuff or uh it was mix? it was structured okay. so you know there was a few days where you know maybe i was on you know some you know gravel rolling roads mm -hmm. and then other days i was on trails and stuff but you know typically i like to run twice a day and um you know there was a few days that uh i, I just ran once and i still had plenty of time to, to get the numbers in so um it was quality and i was happy with it um, you know, now I can typically say, yeah, I've run that, big deal, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, training's been going good, I've been feeling really good. Um, you know, you never know till race day, you know, yeah. if it's all going to connect. You know, I could have a bloody shocker, but um, let's hope not, fingers crossed. Um, one thing that happen, I've seen happen personally and with other people, you hit that, you make that next step up in training volume. Even Maybe you've done that in the past, but, you know, in this period. And your body's holding up, but your mind gets fatigued. You sound eager. You sound like no, you're, you're... I'm. I'm ready to race. You know, yeah. like um, I just, you know, I'm at that point where I, I need to, you know, show people that, uh, you know, I'm here. Hello, you know, because, uh, you know, I, I I feel that I've done the work, but nobody's seen it, and mm -hmm. I've only really I've only been doing this for three months, so you know, I've only got one result, mm -hmm. um, and you know, like it's hard for me to come into a race, and you know, you see all the race favorites talking about how. You know, they're worried about this guy and this guy, and then, yeah, that guy might get 10th. Um, before Sean O'Brien, some guy didn't even put me in the top 12. And, you know, that pissed me off. I was like, I was like, oh, oh, you know, let's work this out. So, so maybe like, a little debutante here at... Uh, uh, well, at, I don't know. Like, you know, I just, you know, I, I, on one hand, I like it because it motivates me. You know, it gets me mad. And then, uh, 
you know, I know that I've got to put in the work. I've got to get the results. Um, you know, people are reflecting back to that first Leadville, and I'm like, you, you can't judge me on a race. I changed six weeks, eight yeah. weeks for so. But even your second one, you were you were very aggressive. You held on. It was impressive that you did. That yeah, second no, half. I've but, learned, yeah. but you you went I sixty miles hard. Yeah, yeah, I learned a little bit more. From um, but then I was really saw a different approach at Sean O'Brien. Yeah, no, I've got smarter a little bit. Um, yeah. And you know, like you've just got to learn. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to learn. And I think, um, you know, I've been seeing a nutritionist um, to help me with my race day, you know. Oh, on race day, I was going to say, the, not the yeah. steak and cheese. Well, I've been trying, uh. I've been trying. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've got professional, mm -hmm. you know. Three, you know, three months ago, I got a contract and they expect a lot, you know, and me to be marketable, to be worth, you know, their investment. So, um, you know, I, I had to be professional about it and, uh, you know, training camps, um, you know, attacking every little area, anything I was weak in, you know, I, I have to, I have to have every tool in the, in the tool bag, otherwise, you know, I'm letting myself in. Mm -hmm. so. so, Sage Kennedy won last year, he's back, he's got to be the favorite, you know how fast he is marathon, I mean, like, he's got some wheels, but tool for tool do you think you can match up with him on saturday um sage is uh i think a little bit predictable um yeah he's been training for a marathon and he just ran one but it didn't go very good so it's like okay is he that fast and then has he been training for 25 to 30 miles and this is a 60 mile race and i know last year you know he, didn't go so good over the last little bit for him. Mm -hmm. But he's a good runner, so you never know. Um, I think all I can do is focus on me. You know, I want to run 100 miles as, as fast and as strong as I can. Um, you know, if he's around me, you know, we'll race the last 10K. You know, if. Uh, if Turn it into a, a track meet? If he's miles ahead, then, you know, should, you know good luck to him. But uh, I'm not scared of anybody out mm -hmm. there. You know, I think I've got as many tools, if not more, um, than uh, most of them. Because they know that I'm as fast as them. Yeah. Um, what they don't know is how strong I am. And, uh, you know, need to why. We'll, we'll find out You'll on, find on out. Saturday. Yeah. Nice. Well, we'll best of luck it. out there, man. And Cheers, man. Yeah. It's good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we'll go and get a, a crate of beer later. If you okay. Bonus question. Where does one get... We, I watched a, a movie, Once We're Warriors. It's a, that's a dark movie about New Zealand. But they're carrying around crates of beer. Where does one get a crate of beer? Let's go get one now. All right, let's um, go. Let's go down the pub. <laughs>